Welcome back and uh, we are talking to Senthil Arunayar and Sukesh Nayak on the portrayal of women in advertising in India today. Sukesh, uh, I wanted to ask you, uh, what is the role that marketers play in, in, project, in projecting strong women in commercials? Most of the people I work with, I don't think they're doing lip service to it, they strongly believe in it. Uh, it is not something like, uh, oh, this is something which is going to work and is going to help our brand uh, connect better. Uh, they, are, they generally believe in it, they're doing something about it. And without their uh, belief and without their you know, conviction, you can really not do anything in a big proper way. But Anand, I have a point there, yeah. you know. I don't, I think this conversation is kind of restricting itself to uh, communication that where the messaging is clearly about women. Right. I think there is a whole body of work right. where uh, which marketers are choosing, saying that, hey, you know what? If you were to portray a daughter instead of a son, just let's, give me a few examples. Amazon, right. like you know the Konkana scene, right. where there was a daughter who is fulfilling what a mother wanted right. rather than a son. I think about three years back, yes. it could have definitely been a son. Right. Or, uh, and there are quite a few examples. Even uh, one of the things we did with Idea recently, with that reverse migration, where it right. was a daughter who went back to the village and said, "You know what? I want to get my father you. back." Yeah. So I think those choices are also kind of shaping society. Right. Because the, uh, the confidence to say that, hey, you know what, daughters can make as much of a difference as... No, I, I agree with you completely. Central, you want to add to that in the sense that every single commercial, if you look at the way women are portrayed in average commercials, whether the uh, tomato sauce commercial or a car commercial or anything, women have changed in the last five, six years dramatically. Much stronger women. Uh, similarly, in a car ad, you see father and daughter, you know, rather than father and son, you know, small daughter and she loves the ride. Is that a reflection of society or... Uh, is, is it being force fitted into? I into don't think it's being force fitted. Right. Uh, I think we, uh, being creative people, all of us in advertising, I think we have, we have the advantage of leading change in some form or the other. So, and this is more voluntary, and uh, and even the marketers want to show women in positive light. So, I think it's working well when when we, you sort of lead that change and you create work that sort of enables people to watch it and you know to feel that change or to become that change, you know, it, it yeah. might be very positive. You see, it's happening, like I said earlier, it's happening around us. Like, I, I have a daughter, and like he said, he has daughters, and I can definitely say without, like, 100% conviction that the way uh, I see my relationship with her is something that comes in the, you know, the way I think. Because it's you have comes to, in positively. Yeah, yeah. It's it, it it makes it influences because I see her as somebody as an equal who is strong, uh, who can do anything. If tomorrow she comes and tells me I want to go boxing, just for example, I will very happily say, please go do it. Whatever you want to do, I will never stop her. So if I if I feel that way uh, about my relationship with my daughter, it automatically reflects in something that I think of, or when I'm sitting with my team and I'm sitting and evaluating ideas. It will eventually, it's ill seep in because what we feel, it, it shows in our work. What we experience in our life, it shows in our work. Senthil, you know, give me an example of, in your opinion, a lovely ad which shows women in a way that you would not have shown the woman five years ago. Let's look at Nike. For example, over the years, you know, if you look at all the, the, the kick-ass Nike ads that we've seen and we sort of wanted to, you know, better and wanted to beat and sort of that's become a benchmark in terms of sports advertising. they always done male-led advertising. But last year, they decided globally to shift to focus on women. And, and the kind of work that they've done uh, globally as well as uh, the campaign for India is fabulous. I mean, sort of, it, 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 every woman who watches that, uh, that particular film or that piece of communication, there was one on that one piece on Serena, which was fabulous, which sort of moved uh, everybody, and uh, even the data ding out of India. It, it actually wants, uh, I mean, it pushes every woman to go out there and, you know, perform in sport, to get out there, even you can do it. I mean, so that is a lot of positivity out there. So when brands, global brands are doing that, I mean, I think it's, it, it's a very positive thing, and a lot of Indian brands are obviously doing the same work as well. Just to, and recent thing, let's say, for example, what Star Plus has done, right? right? I don't think they would have done that about three, four years ago. Right. I don't think that would have been the case. But uh, I think that is in a way riding the wave. And, and with Amir, with Dangal, yeah. so there is a background to it. And I think it, it seamlessly fits in with their content strategy as well, which is also moving in that direction. I think uh, I was going to mention the, the, star, the new work that uh, that is done from our office. And I also want to bring uh, the, the work done from our Bangalore office on Titan with Nimrat Kaur. I thought that was another uh, great piece of work which just didn't, uh, you know, it just didn't state it. 
it actually uh, told the story of a really powerful really strong woman and that's exactly kind of woman for example we know and uh, our friends for example uh, we know stories of our from our life which are we know some girls like that we know so that's great i mean some we first it was just someone that we knew and uh, there was a client who had uh, got to put a story like that out there and let everybody else know about it so the, i think the circle became bigger you know uh, cumulatively all all the uh, efforts that all of you are putting in and i say all of you the entire advertising industry in india what is the change you think you are driving as far as the uh, way women are seen in society is concerned because it's certainly pushing it now you know whether it's little girls to grown up women to whatever it is you know it's we making the circle like i said we're making the circle bigger you see uh, we are uh, lucky enough to be in a in a place of work and environment where we meet a lot of inspiring people you know the kind of people we work with so it's our circle we hear it on a regular basis our job is to uh, take those uh, inspiring things and tell it to people who don't have that opportunity and they can only see it either through a piece of film or any other communication so if we tell those stories and if it make it bigger i think a lot more people uh, like the star current uh, film a lot more people across india have have had the opportunity to see this kind of stuff and you know relate with it and like is about you know cremation rights Uh, must be a conversation in very it was a small conversation in some you know very niche circle now it'll be something which will have a larger platform people will probably speak about it and today there are a lot of means to communicate and you know connect each other so we are just making these stories bigger and the the, the circle is getting bigger that's what that's what we are doing i think you know anand i i feel uh, it's very difficult for us to actually gauge in terms of sure. the, the shifts that I are agree. happening i, I think it's very very difficult to gauge but you you always have a sense of it said that you brought up uh, you know this that we are having a women's day conversation and you know there were no women on the panel mm. and uh, now i want yeah. to mention three of you three agencies are very strong in terms of women creative directors and women planners yeah. uh, all three so tell me what is the role that these women play even the film you spoke about is nandita and tista you yeah. know so uh, so what is the role that the women play in allowing the larger advertising world to understand problems of women or how women should be portrayed I think it's the job of every creative person, male or female, to do that. To, to do that, to show women in positive light, uh, because there is a need to do that, and we can lead the change. But I think they can be far more uh, right in, you know, when they come up with a with a cause like, you know, my daughter will, and it's a woman who's sort of come up with the idea. I think it, there's a lot more impact, and people start empathy. Uh, yeah. There's a lot more empathy, and you start believing in that a lot more because you know that that person is really feeling it. It's not that you know it's coming from. you know i'm doing not a piece of fiction or yeah, written yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. i have a slightly different view on anand on that yeah. i i don't see a difference right i don't see a difference between a woman creative director or a man creative right. director it doesn't matter because at the end of the day they're creative people thinking uh, and i think the more we drop the differences is when the more we'll see the differences being dropped in society so that's where i come from fantastic thank you sankal thank you arun thank you sukesh and uh, have a good day today thank you thank, thank you, you so thank much you. Yeah.